filed with the Court of Common Pleas. Yes. So it looks really official. Yes. Did and that scare you? Yes. More than a dozen Pittsburgh homeowners told their houses were being condemned and taken over. Each one of them got an official notice, leaving them baffled, really. They received no warning. And it wasn't the government trying to take over their property. This was a private group. And that's when one of the homeowners called 11 Investigates. Our Angie Moreski jumped on it to find out what was going on here. She's live on the north side tonight. Angie, what a crazy situation. You know, it really is, Lisa. It's got a lot of homeowners frazzled, including the owner of this property on Marshall Street, which is one of the homes targeted. Kevin Wade was confused when he received this certified letter about a home he's owned for almost 25 years. I wasn't understanding it, but I do understand the fact that you're trying to take my home. I knew that. The letter explained an organization calling itself the Northside Redevelopment Association of Pittsburgh was condemning his property and trying to take it through eminent domain, even though only government entities are allowed to do that. That's why I call you. It's, it just don't something don't sound right. The letter looked very official, filed with the Court of Common Pleas, and he wasn't the only one targeted. Just a block away from Mr. Wade's home is this property, also listed as condemned and being taken over by eminent domain in this paperwork. It looked like they must have went around and saw abandoned houses and, and did this. Having all these properties targeted raised a red flag, so a neighborhood organization, the Northside Leadership Conference, called local attorney Walter Nalducci to help. I mean, in this case, uh, there's a group that is unregistered. Nalducci says he's surprised the group got this far, actually filing paperwork with the Allegheny County Recorder of Deeds. We went in search of Northside Redevelopment at addresses it listed in court records. First, a home in Carnegie. Yes, hi, Tamika. And then at an apartment complex in Robinson. Did you have authorization? to take over the properties by eminent domain and defile that declaration of taking? She hung up rather than answer any questions. As for Wade, he's just glad this was caught in time before anyone lost their property. Scamming is going on a big time and we have to watch. Now, the attorney expects these eminent domain cases to be dismissed when he files an official objection in court. Another really interesting thing we learned, the people behind this Northside Redevelopment Association have done this before in the past under a different name. We plan to do a, a lot more digging on that to find out if they've ever been successful in taking someone's property. We'll keep you posted. Angie Moreski, 11 Investigates.